Hello, bonjour, hi everyone, it's Lucas here, I come from the Czech Republic and I'm gonna spend the, the next five months in Canada to do my internship here because I think it's absolutely worth recording. I've decided to make short videos from time to time and to spread them into the whole world so that I can let you know that dreams come true. So, I got here finally after a few months of the documents getting processed. I needed to get like a work permit and to get all the required documents. It was quite difficult, but that was not a problem. I mean, administration is also always like that. So, if you really want, you can get here. So, I got here yesterday. I took a flight from first from Vienna to Paris and then I needed to change from Paris to Montreal and the flight from Paris took like about seven eight hours the funny thing was that we were literally going towards the time so we were flying and you could see outside that the sun was still shining the same because we were flying against, you know, so we landed in Montreal at about 4 p.m. time of Montreal, which is 10 p.m. European time, and it was still sunny and everything, then I spent about three hours at the immigration office, so trust me, being a foreigner is a bit of an issue here in Canada as well, so there is not only immigration crisis in Europe, but you have to uh, be careful in Canada as well. And yeah, I I passed. I mean, they they gave me my work permit, so I was happy. The only problem was that I had I had meat and tomatoes that my mom picked for me as a snack and because the Canadian officers found it dangerous for Canadian inhabitants because it could be contagious for them they said so they just took it away from me and then I had to throw throw it away because yeah it's just not allowed I didn't know that so it's not allowed to to bring such things to Canada so I'm sorry mama and but I'm here I get here and the funny thing is it was the first time for me traveling to a different time zone I mean if except traveling to to the UK which is just just one hour difference so it was the first time traveling out of Europe to the different time zone for me and I didn't have any problem with that I mean I got to bed at about like 10 p.m. in Montreal time, which means 4 a.m. the European time, and there was not a problem for me. I mean, I got up at 8 a.m. Uh, this time, so so 2 p.m. the time in Czech, which means I'm surprised that for now. I managed to, to to adapt myself well, which is good. I'm glad for that. So uh, I'm in Quebec, Montreal, and I'd like to tell you that dans mes vidéos, je vais des fois je vais mélanger le français avec l'anglais parce que le Québec c'est une province qui est totalement bilingue. C'est incroyable. Il faut absolument parler français quand quand on veut vivre au Québec parce que tout le monde parle français et pas tout le monde parle anglais mais j'aurais m'excuser quand je fais des erreurs peut-être parce que des fois quand je parle anglais ça fait détériorer mon français et au contraire when I speak French it makes worse uh, my, my English as well so I like to, to mix both languages 
et aussi mon, mon travail sera en anglais et en français tous les deux les deux langues donc euh, ça va être peut-être un peu difficile mais je pense que ça va vrai euh, déjà j'adore les deux langues alors ça, ça doit être vrai so to be honest uh, it will be a bit of a struggle for me I have to struggle with like 10 dollars 10 bucks a day because the, the job is not that well paid but I mean I can make it so you just need a strong devotion and you don't have any problems so I need to I want to let you know that money doesn't have to be a problem uh, what else qu'est-ce que je veux vous dire encore alors je suis arrivé hier et maintenant j'ai deux jours avant de commencer mon boulot alors j'ai deux jours pour explorer la ville et j'attends avec impatience toutes les surprises de Montréal qui attendent quand je, je les rencontre I mean for now I didn't see almost anything but I'm sure that it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of uh, strange things for me as a European here in Canada so I can't wait to to explore everything and yeah I guess for now it's all I mean I have to find accommodation still so for now I'm I'm just uh, logé chez some coach surfer que j'ai trouvé via, via un site internet euh, grâce à Couchsurfing il est tout gentil, il est trop, trop gentil il euh, est half canadien, half Czech, so that's easier for me because we, have, we can like, share some funny things about Czech Republic and il parle Czech un petit peu aussi donc euh, c'est cool euh, <laughs> Fun fact that he's called. Maybe the first question for you, who who are watching this video, he has the same name as one Czech NHL player from Boston, Boston Bruins. So the most famous Czech player in Boston. Try to guess and uh, leave me a message who you think it is. So when I asked him what he thought, what he. I thought about Boston Bruins. He told me he, he m'a dit he détestait Bruins parce qu'il y a une apparemment il y a une grosse rivalité parmi Canadiens et Bruins. So Paul Harris, if you're watching this video, I want to say hi to you. Hello, Paul. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, I can't wait to uh, to the start of NHL because it's gonna be huge here and I just can't wait to do everything here and I'll try to uh, to show some interesting things to you as well so that you can explore it with me and uh, for now uh, that's all I'm saying goodbye au revoir et on va se voir très tôt je dirais Comme, comme, il dit, comme ils disent ici au Québec, à tantôt. Au revoir, bye bye, ciao.